Yo, what it is? This is Walter Allred, and I am going to show you how to create a vignette border using Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I'm using CS5. I'm pretty sure you can use any version. This will work. Um, anyways, I've, I've been trying to figure this out for a few days. I've been digging around the internet, and I found a few videos. One of the dudes, I can barely understand what he's saying, and it was like a pretty garbage looking vignette and the other guy is a pretty good one I'm gonna actually show you his method um, it's pretty simple but it's not as flexible so I uh, I've been sitting here fiddling around with Premiere and I figured out a pretty cool vignette so anyways let's just jump into it the first one I'm gonna show you um, it's a super simple vignette but like I said it's not very flexible what you're gonna do um, make sure you're in Premiere here. We'll go up to File, New, Color Mat. Make sure it's the same size as your video footage. Black's fine. And I'm just going to name it Black Mat. And uh, what we're going to do is just go ahead. Oh, I already made one. Cool. Anyways, you're going to take your black mat or your, your color mat, whatever, and drop it over the top of your video footage. Now, what you want to do, there's an effect, let's see, video effects, generate, uh, circle. We're going to take that and just drop it onto the black mat, and you notice it generates a nice little circle, like it said it was going to. Let's go into the effect controls under circle, and I'm going to make this black, change the color there, and I'm also going to invert the circle. And now all we have to do is change the radius however you want it. And you notice it makes this black border sort of dilly. Um, just adjust that however you want. And then what you can do is come underneath feather here and feather the edge, the edge of the circle and give it a cool little look. So that's, that's the first way to do it. But as you can see, you're limited to that circle shape. Um, if this is the effect you're going for, great. All right, so now I'm going to show you the way that I figured out. Gives you a little bit more flexibility, a little more custom look to your vignette. Um, so I undid everything I did before so we can start from scratch. All right, so what you're going to do again here is you're going to create a color mat like we did before. All right, and you're going to drag it on top of your footage. Make sure you extend this to the duration of your footage. Um, and now we want to grab an effect called... It's in King, and it's a 16-point garbage mat. Um, I mean, I guess you could do 4 or 8-point if you don't want. Um, what that means is it's going to give you more points to, let me show you, 16-point, grab it, drop it. If you go in here to Effects, notice these points around my video footage. There's 16 of them. That's what it meant by 16 point garbage mat. If you were to do 8 or 4, you would only have 8 points or 4 points, which gives you less customization, basically. So anyways, I like using the 16 point. Go ahead and drop that 16 point garbage mat effect onto your color mat, which is above your video footage. And then what you're going to do is grab a, an effect, it's called, it's right below this one, it's called Track Mat Key. And I'm going to put that onto my video footage. Now, if I go into the effect controls for my video footage, you'll see Track Mat Key here, and I need to choose what which mat do I want to key out, which mat. So, boom, I want the mat on Video Track 2. Boom it keyed it out completely. So, you're wondering how the hell is this going to make a vignette? Well, let me show you. Go back to 
the 16 point garbage mat. Click on it so you can get the points. And you'll notice when I drag these in, it's giving me a black border. And in reality, everything here that's black is basically it's just showing everything above the video track here. So, you know, if I had another video above this, um, it would show up back here. So, don't do that. <laughs> you want to make sure it's empty or place maybe a black mat above. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to go around here grabbing my points and bringing them in and creating this black border which is going to be my vignette border. Blah blah blah, bringing them in. Um, and then see what I mean like over here I would like to bring in this corner a bit more there's not a lot going on I'm trying to bring your focus onto this person here which is me staring off into a tree um, and so I can bring this side of the frame just in a bit more and then over here like by my feet you know I don't want to cover myself up but the beauty about this is I have the option I, I can customize this border um, a little bit more than the other method bring this in a bit more anyways just play around with it get something you like and you're gonna say well that looks like shit so what you're gonna want to do is grab one more effect and it is the it's gonna be in the blur and sharpen and I like to use just the flat fast blur and I'm gonna drag that onto my mat go into the effect controls and all I have to do is increase the blurriness and it's gonna do the same thing as basically feathering that edge so you can just blur that as much as you want and bingo you've got a custom vignette in Adobe Premiere um, yep and that's how you do it if you want you can um, you can come back here and kind of play with it. Um, so remember though, you're you're not, I think there's a tendency to, to feel like you're manipulating this black border when really you're manipulating everything inside. Because um, remember if we are to turn off the track mat, see this is really what we're messing with here is this black blob in the middle. And um, that's what we're blurring as well. We're blurring the edge of that and when we key it out it gives us that effect. So anyways um, I wish there was a way easier way to do this. I haven't figured it out figured it out yet. If you guys figure something out let me know. Um, also um, I'd like to I'd like to make more tutorials um, so if you guys have any requests let me know, leave me a message, Sub subscribe, like, favorite, do what you got to do, um, and I will see you next time. Peace.